In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to set up your custom domain inside of System.io. Now, if you're new to my channel, my name is Steve, and you might want to check my channel for other System.io related videos and tutorials. Now, if you haven't yet got an account with System.io, then you can sign up for a free account using the link in the description below. There is also a second link down there for you where you can get access to five of my done for you affiliate marketing funnel templates that you can then put into your System.io account and use for free. Now let's get into the video. So if you haven't yet done this step, then when you first sign up for system.io, your URL path will be something like wherever your email address was dot system.io forward slash and then load numbers, which doesn't look very professional. So it's recommended to set up a custom domain. So to do that, come over to settings and then left hand menu, check, go to custom domains. And then here is where we can add a new domain. So now head on over to wherever you've bought your domain name from. So I'm using Namecheap in this example, but of course this is pretty much a same instructions regardless for your registrar is whether it's GoDaddy or whoever else. So I'm going to use this domain here because I'm not really using it for anything else. So if you go to manage and then advanced DNS. So if you haven't used this domain name for anything else before, it's a brand new domain, then under host records, you're going to probably have some CNAME records here that indicates that it's a parked domain. So we want to delete those because we, we don't need those anymore. Okay, now we're ready to add some new records. So click here to add new record and scroll down to find CNAME record. And then we're just gonna take our domain name here, go back to system. And what's really important here is you need to enter your domain name with the www dot before it. Okay, that's really important steps. So make sure you add the www dot and then click save. And then system is gonna give you some CNAME records to add into Namecheap. Okay, so here are the two CNAME records that we need to add. And again, what's really important is uh, these dots. So if I do this slowly and I'll explain as I go along what I'm gonna be doing now. So take note, when we look in Namecheap, we've got the type of record, which is CNAME. Then we've got host, where we're gonna enter one part of it. And then we've got value under here. Okay, and in system here, we've got the two parts here and here. So this side relates to the host and this side relates to the value. So for the first part, we wanna copy this www without the dot. Okay, so it's just the www and nothing after it. And we come back to this side and paste that in under host. So it's just www there. And then on this side, for the value, we take everything, but including that full stop at the end, really important. Make sure you grab everything, including the full stop and then bring that back and paste that into value and then click the green tick and then add new record, another C record. So we need to add the second one. Okay, now for the second record on the host side, we want to take everything up to but not including that full stop, okay? So anything including that full stop and after, we wanna ignore, okay? So just grab everything here up to, but not including that full stop, right? So we've got that, and we're gonna paste that into the host side here. And then we're gonna come back on the value side and grab the whole lot, grab everything, and paste it into here where it says value, and then click the green tick to save the changes. Okay, now if you head back to system, we can see that our new domain is added here, and it says pending validation. So this can take up to 24 hours, but it's usually fairly fast. It usually happens within, well, it's happened for me within 20, 30 minutes, but uh, it can happen up to 24 hours. So don't worry if it's if it's taken a few hours. Now, if you want to test it, you can copy your URL and come over to this website, which is uh, whatismydns.net. And when you paste it in here, and click search, it's gonna show you if it's propagated across the net or not. Now in this map here, once all the ticks have gone, once all these check marks have gone to a green tick, then it's propagated and your, your domain should be live. Okay now, and then the last step, once our domain has authenticated between Namecheap and System, like I said, it shouldn't take too long, usually within 20, 30 minutes, but once it's done, you then need to, so make sure you're on your landing page and you can update the URL path to be your new domain. So you click on this gear icon and we're in our funnel here where it says funnel domain. You can click the drop down and select your new custom domain that you've just added will appear here in the list once they've authenticated. So mine haven't yet because I've only just done it two minutes ago. So it'll take a bit more time. But once it has, you select the custom domain, you click save, and then you just make sure on the landing page, which is the home page essentially for this funnel, you want to make sure that you delete these numbers here. So it will be the pure custom domain URL for the landing page. And then your funnel should be ready and live on your new custom 